So next instead, if we wanted to make this ball bounce along, uh, and let's say we want it to bounce from the left to the right, and let's say we want it to last about two seconds, what we need to do is insert a number of keyframes this time, and each keyframe will identify a different point in the bounce. Uh, so let's say we want 10 different keyframes, so we can get a few bounces in there, and if that's going to last two seconds, then each frame, each keyframe, must last about 0.2 of a second. That way, 10 frames, 10 lots of 0.2, will make two seconds. So let's add those in. And if I do the same as before and scroll to the last one and move the ball to that end, what you'll see now is the location of the center of the ball at each point uh, during those 10 seconds. If I, sorry, two seconds. If I click this second one, what that does is selects the ball in the second frame. Click that one, selects it in the third, third frame, and so on. So in this one, we want it to be moved up in this one, move down, and so on. So I can just go along and move this ball up and down to imitate it bouncing along here, and you'll see the path that's generated. You'll also notice that each of those empty squares uh, turns into a solid gray one. This is it turning from uh, just sort of a normal frame into a key frame. So when I preview this now, the ball bounces up and down as it moves. Now, it might be good to give it something to bounce on. So back in the first frame, I'm going to drag out a rectangle, uh, which you can bounce along to represent the ground. And if we color that green, there we go. Let's, well, what you might notice actually, if I was going to set it bouncing, it only puts it in on the first one. Now, two things, I could go link on every one of these frames and pop that green in, but it's got a nice trick that you can use. So with the black arrow selected, select your object, and this arrow here will allow you to copy this object into other frames. Now we can either copy it into a number of frames and we can tell it how many, or we can copy it into every frame all the way to the end of the storyboard. So I'm going to choose that. And you'll notice now that we've got this green all the way in. So let's preview it now. It bounces along. Uh, a couple of points it seems to go behind it, which doesn't look great. So instead I'm going to right click and under there, uh, centre back. And let's just update that all the way forward. So now when I preview it, if it does overlap, it overlaps with the ball in front of the ground, which looks a little bit better. So that's a couple of extra techniques there, how to um, have something different uh, compared to a straight path, and how to add an object in later and copy it into subsequent frames.